Okay, so we are going to uh, start on this side. Well, what I first wanted to say, if you want to make your tags, for the biggest, uh, for the largest pocket you'll need a um, tag of 7 inches by 4, 7, 8. And for the smaller pocket you'll need 5 inches by 4 and 7 eighths of a quarter. So there are your tags. Oh, this is the wrong side. So, and here it's again. So remember we're going to make this page later. So don't wait to um, just, well, we'll do it later. So we're going to flip it over and we are having this side. And remember I told you to save the part that was cut off here. So what we're going to do with this one, take your scoring board. What we're going to do is to score at the long side at half an inch. like that and then on the short side we're going to score at half an inch too like that so pull that aside then just fold this to the inside and as you can see well Flaps came out. As you can see, we're going to make a pocket in here. So we have a pocket and then we have a flap. So that's what I'm going to do now. So, first, what I'm going to do is to put some glue over this side. like that and as you can see if you fold it over you can see there are uh, things sticking out, sticking out so that's where I'm going to cut that away and on this side too like that and then we're going to taper this square too like that and I think I want to put some tape uh, too on this side to um, protect the tag. So first we're going to do is to line this up and glue it down, only the bottom side. So here we go. I hope it goes well. Wait a minute, I'm going to place it like this. Like so, and then again, our regular tape, put it over the tapered piece, and then we're going to glue down the side. going to be about at the end of the album so uh, I'm not going to make it that big but you can always expand um, the pages if you like so what we're going to do now here is the one thing we had with the um, um, triangle flap so we're going to make a spine at this side, which is going to measure one and a half by seven, and we're going to score that in the middle so that three quarters of an inch so this part you've done before, just work it both ways apply some tape 
and I apply half an inch and then a quarter of an inch of tape so it sticks down really well there we go so these are the parts you've done before so this would be easy for you I hope okay then taper and here also well that's that then we're going to apply one side to the page like that and like that so that's the spine and then you'll need a piece that measures let's see 10 by 7 and that's going to be scored at 5 inches like that and then we also need one piece that measures 8 by 6 and one piece that measures 4 by 6 and then we're going to have two spines that measure 6 by 1.5 these spines we are going to um, score at half the size so this is three quarters of an inch oh, I did it wrong but it's okay so I did seven eighths of an inch but that's okay and this one measures well it's not one and a half inches it's a little bit shorter but I'm going to score it in the middle like that and then your piece that measures 8 by 6 you're going to score it at 4 inches like that and then you're done scoring so then again with your spine your two spine pieces just work it both ways like that and to both sides you'll need to tape it down so here's the one I only have to put half an inch of tape and the other one needs half an inch and then a quarter inch of tape let's see it's here you can also use some wet glue on this smaller side just as you wish and on this side half an inch of tape on this side and also on the other side and then a quarter inch of tape like that okie dokie so then you need to taper it of course before I forget it and the other side too like that okay then what the thing is with this one I want to make it um, let's see how I'm going to apply this like that okay what I meant to do is um, so this is page 6 and 7 and then you're going to flip it over and I didn't think I wanted it like that I want it like this so here's 6 and you're going to glue it down at the fold here so this is 7 and 8 and what I wanted is to make this to be um, tri a trifold page so we're going to glue the spine down here and also glue this down here so it works this way and it also works 
this way. I hope you understand. So first we're going to glue the spine down on the fold here. La 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 la. So let's see if I can do this right. There. So here's your six and seven, and then I want to put this down here. And we also have to wait to do that because we first want to um, apply some designer tape. But we can go ahead and put this together. So this is what it is like now. So the fold is on the left side and you are going to, let's see, this is going to be stuck at here. Let's see, I want it like that. Yeah. So the fold is going to be on the left side and you are gluing this down on this side. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I want to do it like this, I guess, because this one is going to be on your page and I think I want a big part on the page. So we're going to glue this down like that. So this is how it's going to be. This is going to be top down on the page so you're going to have this and then this and then what we need this folds like this and this has to fold like this so we're going to glue these two parts down with the spine too like that And then this side to the other side. Like so. And now you have this. So this is going to be glued down later when we have um, design, uh, have some design paper on, the, on that side. So here it is, this is going to be the spine which is going to be glued down on here, so we have uh, a flap over here and you can also put it over here. So that's that. And um, I think I want to leave this blank, but what you also can do is take a piece. Now I'm going to do this, so this is what I just think out of my head right now. What you'll need is a piece of 8 inches, is this 8 inches, no it's a little bit more, so I'm going to cut it down at 8 inches, like that, so this is going to be 8 inches by 1 and, well how much is this, 1 and one, two, three, four, five eighths of an inch. So we're going to score at half an inch on one long side and then half inches on short side. And then work it both ways like that and then you want to apply on one side of the paper so apply tape to these sides
like that. And then you need to taper it again. So here's the taper and on the squares you're going to taper it all at once. And you're going to do it like that too. And then you want to stick it down so you create uh, a pocket so you can put some tags in. And also what you want to do is to put down this one first, the long side. And then of course put some tape on the inside. Well, I'm having trouble doing this. Oh shoot. Oh. That's why I couldn't do it. I need to do it like this. Sorry guys. So again, glue this down and then take some regular tape and tape it down. And then we're going to tape these short flaps down too. So you can alter this album just as you wish. So as you can see I just did it out, out on top of my head. So here's a flap to put some um, tags in. So I think this is quite it. And what we'll need to do is to make one spine on this side so we can glue it down to the base of the album and we also need to make a spine on this side to glue it down in an album. So the spines measure um, 7 by 1.5 inches. So that's what I'm going to do. So here is 7 inches by 1.5 inches. That's 1. And then one and a half inches, that's two. Like that. And then again, score it at, uh, what did I say, three quarter of an inches. And then three quarter of an inches. And I think my sign is done, almost done. So just go and prepare and glue down one side of the things and taper it. And then I'll be back with you.